Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology and Progression channel. Today is a very important topic I wanted to share with my friends. This is a very best key components to understand you working on every single diesel electronic engine to fix them very easily which have brain no start condition. Okay, this is a very very important and very very great steps you can fix every kind of diesel engine which have print but no start condition very simple and very easy okay let's get started this model like a 2SX15 model Cummins and Caterpillar 3406E model and all okay which have ECU electronic control unit for the engine operation system it's the modern kind of diesel engine which is coming in the market nowadays early which have ACM the all engine system is operated with the ACM but sometimes this engine have a lot of problem doing cranking but not start and how to fix them and how to check a to Z and how to understand the circuitry of electronic diesel engine every single diesel electronic engine you can fix with this step very easily and very simple okay first of all you know the basic concept of the every electronic diesel engine okay but the circuitry almost like a same okay you understand the basics you can fix easily if you're not understanding the basics, that's mean you're not working on it. Okay. You cannot fix everywhere any engine. Because you are not understanding the basics. Every electronic engine have ECU. This ECU is control the fuel system okay this ECU is control the engine safety system this ECU control the engine all monitoring okay if you are getting the problem crank no start condition in every diesel electronic engine how the first steps to check to identify and figure out the problem where is actually we have a problem okay this this is our main topic today Every electronic engine is operated with the crankshaft position sensor and crankshaft position sensor. The crankshaft position is getting signal. from the ECM okay and came sharp position sensor sending the signal to the ECM okay first of all we are going to start from the A to Z the problem engine crank but no start how to check first of all you need to know the ECU main relay this relay working to turning on the ECM first of all for the starting circuitry we need to turning on the ECM if our ECM is turning off not turning on 
and we are also cranking engine not will start okay first of all we know when we crank the engine or push the starting button the starting button send the command to the ECM and activate the ECM first when the ECM is activate first turning on the ECM turning relay also on when the ECM turning relay is on the ECM is on after that the engine is cranking condition this crankshaft position sensor and this camshaft position sensor taking a signal from the teeth and flywheel and sending to the ECU the ECU now understand my engine is now rotating need to be starting ok when this signal is received to the ECM the ECM turning on the injector the injector firing the engine is rotating the camshaft and crankshaft position sensor sending the signal to the ECU to turning on and inject the fuel and combustion chamber when the ECU is inject the fuel and combustion chamber the starting system is beginning to start the engine is on a starting position coming and starting the taking the starting position okay once again explain to this important key first of all the ECM control the engine starting system fuel system and monitoring all the sensor working okay this two sensor is very important for the starting circuit and this one is very important for the starting okay and this ECU main relay is very important for the starting circuit when we press the ignition switch or push the ignition button the ignition button have three wires or the ignition key, key have three wires one is accessory one is B positive and one is the starting command ok when we push the key switch and accessory the accessory sending positive to the main relay main relay in a energize of the ECM main relay when the ECM main relay is energized this will turning on the ECM before the starting this is the one step another step is when we push the ignition switch on the starting position the, the ignition or the starter solenoid the ECM send the command to the starter relay the starter relay is activate also our starter is activate and cranking our, our engine when our engine is cranking the engine the crank came sharp position sensor and crank sharp position sensor taking a signal from the taking a signal and sending to the ECU the ECU now understand the engine is rotating I know the time for the injector to operate which injector is stop on which injector and TDC which injector and BDC which injector on TDC the ECM determine and figure figure out the injector which one is the top dead center and ECM fire on this injector to ignite the air and fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber ok the engine is injectors is gradually firing and starting the engine circle and start the engine and problem has been solved first of all we need to identify the ECM main relay which is working for the turning on the ECM 
when this relay is okay after that we check out the ECM. ECM is turning on or turning off. Okay. When this ECM relay is on, the ECM already is on. After that, when we crank the engine, this sensor have three wires. One is signal, one is five volt reference, and one is ground. Okay. Check the multimeter and check this signal. Five volt reference signal to the ECU and ground. Which this all wire is okay, that means the sensor is okay. When we crank the engine, the signal is 5 volt to the 3 volt is going up and down. That means that sensor is working. This to camshaft and crankshaft position sensor. This two sensor send in the signal to the ECU for the activation of injectors. When the ECM is activated, then ECM send the pulse to the injector. Which injector on top did center not to be need to be fired? The injector is ground one side of the injector. The injector's files, files is up, going up, and give the way to the flow, told to the fuel to spread through the nozzle and the combustion chamber. That's working for the starting system. Okay, this is the main key components of every electronic engine which have ECU. First of all, you need to know to identify the ECM in relay which is working to turning the ECM. Then you check the camshaft position sensor and crankshaft position wiring and signal and output power and ground. If this is faulty, need to be replaced and rewire and install new one. The same OEM parts. After that, you need to check the injector harness. If injector is okay, operating good and better, that means your engine is okay, no need to be start. No, should be start. Okay. I hope you understand this is the basic concept of every electronic diesel engine. Thanks for the complete watching my videos. If you have any doubt of any question about the electronic diesel engine, please write comment below. I give you a response very soon, very quickly. If you need any kind of diesel engine, uh, electronic wiring diagram PDF, please write comment below or email me. I, I send you all the PDF about the every electronic engine. Thanks for watching. See you next time and goodbye.